Once upon a time, far away from earth, in the cold and dark space, the sun decided to host a tea party for all the planets in his big and beautiful sun castle. So invitations were sent out to all the eight planets for the evening tea party. Sun's castle was very large and bright, but very hot too. The sun's heat was so intense that his palace always remained burning hot. No air conditioner in the world could bring down the temperatures in the sun's palace. So the sun had requested the icy planets Uranus and Neptune to come an hour early so that the palace would become comfortable for the other planets. Uranus and Neptune were best friends and always used to hang out together. They were the farthest from the sun and therefore the coldest, icy and rocky planets. They came in together and enjoyed playing a game of Ludo while the palace cooled down slowly. An hour passed away and one by one the other planets started coming in too. Mercury came in first and started talking hurriedly. I have to go early. Why are the others always so late? Mercury was always in a hurry. He was the closest to the sun and used to finish one whole revolution around the sun in just 88 days. Venus walked in next, shining bright and looking really good. Next came in Mars, looking very sad and lost in his own thoughts. Everyone wondered what was going on in his mind. Saturn entered with Jupiter, adjusting her beautiful rings carefully just like a pretty dress. Jupiter got stuck in the door. He was after all the largest planet. Why does Sun make these doors so small? said Jupiter. Earth came in last with her moon. Everybody started whispering the moment Earth entered. I didn't know moons were invited too, said Saturn. I have the highest number of moons and all of them were fighting with me to come to this party. But I told them that this party is only for the planets. Saturn whispered to Jupiter. The truth was, Earth had no friends. She always felt very lonely in these parties, as all the planets were jealous of her. She was the only planet with life on it. Its blue color and shining atmosphere was envied by one and all. For the evening, the sun had hired the stars to be the waiters. As everybody was chit-chatting, there entered the sun. Instantly, the entire room was lit up with bright light. All the planets stood up in awe of the sun and greeted him. They all respected the sun. After all, they could exist only because of the sun. Welcome, my friends, said Sun. Hope you all are doing well. Why are your cups empty? Stars, he commanded. Please get us some tea and some freshly baked cookies. I'll have something cold to drink, said Venus. I'm feeling very hot. Venus was the hottest planet and no wonder she was always feeling hot. Tea was poured into cups and cookies were served and everyone started talking to each other. What's wrong with you today? You look upset, the sun asked Mars. Well, the inhabitants of Earth are destroying my peace these days. Every other day they send satellites to take my pictures and know more about me. In fact, I'm hearing that they are exploring me as the future habitat of humans. Can you believe it, said Mars. Don't you worry, Mars. 
Earth's creatures are very, very curious indeed. They love exploring. Besides, conditions on your planet are not suitable for them yet. You have so many dust storms and water is only present as ice, said Sun. Are you trying to say that I am not as good as Earth, said Mars, getting very angry? Oh no, Mars, don't be offended. I am only suggesting that there is no reason for you to lose the peace of your mind just yet, said Sun, trying to pacify Mars. Suddenly there was a funny sound Uh and everybody started laughing. Who was that? asked someone. (laughs) That must be Jupiter or Saturn. They are the planets made of only gas, said Earth laughing. That wasn't us. I think that might be you, Earth. Your inhabitants are busy creating so much pollution and gases themselves. In fact, I heard that your own climate is changing every day because of this, said Jupiter. Poor Earth looked away. This was true. Human advancement was making Earth dirtier by the day and there was nothing she could do about it. It wouldn't be long before her glaciers would melt due to the slowly increasing temperature caused by burning of fuel and cutting down of trees. Oh, come on now, everyone, said Sun. We must not fight amongst ourselves. We all know that just like our solar system, there are many, many more such galaxies in the universe. And you never know, some of those might have different and more powerful forms of life who may find us one day and God knows, they might even cause us damage. So we must stand united and enjoy each other's company as friends. The planets realized that the sun was right. There were only eight of them and they should all be good friends. To lighten up the mood, Sun asked the stars to play some nice music for the evening. And all the planets started rotating slowly around their axis to the beautiful music. Earth danced with Mars and they sorted out their differences. Mercury decided not to leave early and danced along with Venus and the other planets. Jupiter and Saturn picked up Earth in their arms and playfully danced. Uranus and Neptune swayed together to the music too and enjoyed. The stars served delicious cake and cookies for everyone and they all dug in. After the party ended, no one felt like going back. But it was time for everyone to get back to their orbits and move on. After all, the workings of the solar system can't be stopped for too long.